Hi, this is Yaroslav from sharematch.com and today we're going to talk about SharePoint 2013 preview search. There's been a lot of rumors and confusion around what's included in uh, SharePoint 2013 uh, search and how uh, current SharePoint uh, fast search, whether the product is completely brought into the functionality of 2013 um, or whether some of the features have been brought in. So um, we're going to take a look at some of those rumors and take a look at some of the search capabilities. Um, keep in mind that this is a preview. So things might change as the product RTMs, but here's what we have right now. First of all, I'm going to take a look at the architecture diagram available for 2013 right now and specifically about search that's available on the internet right now you can take a look at it so some of the major uh, search components include uh, the content sources and the content uh, component as well as a query component so the queries are generated in a query component uh, the content is being uh, crawled and parsed and analyzed in, in a content component and using the indexing the the two meet so whatever the user has searched the the content the relevant content is uh, is returned and then pre-processed and returned back to the user so let's take a look at uh, some of the um, some of the features in SharePoint 2013 preview here uh, that represent search. So search is still a service application. So there is a search service application. As you remember before, you could create SharePoint uh, fast search uh, component and as well as the regular search component. Right now, one search component available for you to create. The user interface here and in central administration looks pretty much the same. Uh, there's still content sources, um, all of the management uh, tools available for you, some of the analytics tools and uh, processing tools. Some of the things that have changed in the, uh, in the actual functionality of the search on the site are the following. So, so speaking of search result sources, uh, in here you have cer certain different categories of sources on the site. So in here, um, the document, you can see some of the uh, predefined uh, source categories already here, and you can create new result source. So what is a result source? If you create a new result source, you can define standard things such as name and etc. Uh, and really in a uh, current version, uh, in here you can define the local uh, SharePoint results or file shares and etc. In here there's a little bit, of, little bit more options available to you and as well as uh, not only there's options but there is also this uh, query transformation engine uh, available for you and there's this nice uh, little query builder here and one of the things that's really cool about this query builder is you can actually uh, build your query and also test it and see what results are going to coming back from a live system before you implement a particular a new content source and that'll help sort of eliminate some of the issues that um, currently folks are having when they're creating new content sources and trying to pull data they have to actually do an incremental full, full crawl um, to actually see what's happening we're in here the query builder is kind of going to preview the the content sources for you so that's one thing another thing is that those uh, search results sources are directly tied to result types so what this means is that and here I'm on a result type page there's a couple of them you know quite a few of them predefined but if I click on a new result type what I can do here is I can uh, tie a particular a particular content source that we've just created in this case let's say documents to a particular type of a result display template so if you remember in, in current version if you wanna let's say if you get a document or PowerPoint and you wanna um, uh, provide some additional information about the particular uh, type of document um, you would have to modify the XML, the rendering XML for, for uh, search core results web part. And that XML is pretty big and clunky to modify, plus you're tied only to what's available in, in terms of modifying uh, the values in XML. In here I can actually pick uh, very easily the content source that I care about and also the uh, uh, rendering template that's going to be rendered for a particular item. And we're not going to go too deep in the rendering templates uh, in this particular uh, screencast, but uh, you can define your own JavaScript template on how you're going to want to see the results coming back based on a particular type of result. So that's pretty handy and definitely I can see that uh, being used. Another item uh, here, obviously, we have uh, a query rules. That's uh, one of the one of the other items that's that's interesting. So for instance, if I have a documents here, the query rule um, in, in the past meant that you can add additional promotion or demotion depending on the type of the query that we're working. In this particular 2013 preview version, um, you can still do the same thing. You can uh, uh, pick a particular uh, query and then 
define what's different about that particular query and uh, whether you want to promote the result or demote the result or, or block the result. So um, one of the other things that has been available in uh, or is available in, 2010, in 2010 fast version um, is uh, the ability to uh, promote certain content based on the user context. So for instance, based on the user profile service application properties, uh, such as your department name or your uh, your location name, you can promote certain uh, results based on the values of those properties. So let's say if I belong uh, to a sales, if I search for the same result as, as a technology folks would search for, uh, the results that I get are more relevant towards the sales oriented individual versus someone to a technology oriented individual. So that's available in fast. That's not available in this particular version. Again, that's potentially that's how it's going to be uh, at this time. We just don't know. So another couple of things here, search schema. Again, that's just uh, properties that's that's been available or that is available in this particular version. Uh, the search settings are just general settings that are again available in this particular version. Just general uh, where to redirect users when they're searching for whether it's a search center or uh, just a regular um, context search. Uh, one really cool feature that I am really excited about and there's been some some amount of customizations prior to this is ability to import and export your search results and that's really that's really important because as you configure in your search on the site collection levels and if you have let's say 30 site collections or so I've seen that happen it's it's quite tedious to actually replicate all of those results so what you can do you can export your configuration and it's exported as the XML file and uh, what it includes it actually includes all of the configuration that you would you would want to um, include for search in, including a best bets so for instance that's been a significant area of, of pain before where people actually needed to export and import best bets onto their site so that's that's taken care of and as well as you can import the configuration back and uh, it'll just change all of the settings as as you wanted them to be so those are main areas of focus that I wanted to, sh uh, to show you uh, we're gonna take a look at more detail look potentially in the next few weeks or so um, at how you can uh, define your own display templates to actually um, re define the rendering of your search results but on high level that's basically what SharePoint 2013 uh, preview search is all about. So stick around for more screencasts on 2013 at my blog uh, sharematch.com or my YouTube channel.